All right, here we are testing two sun grid tie inverters. Sun is just coming out here. All right, yeah, one sun grid tie inverter connected. Just <clears throat> a little reading here of the efficiency. Just plugged in the other sun. <clears throat> and it looked like it just completely took the power away from the other one. <clears throat> that the sun I just plugged in is the lower voltage one, the 250G. And the one I got on the right <clears throat> is a regular one, 14 volt one. Let me unplug that one. This time I'm unplugging the panels right from the input as opposed to unplugging the unit. And now you can see it <clears throat> power in this case completely moving over to the other one. Getting uh, 57 currently. Replug it in. Now I'm going to totally unplug the power from the regular one. <clears throat> that didn't seem to make any difference. Plug the AC back into the original one. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Might be better just with just run with one grid tie inverter. Looks like these two suns uh, together <clears throat> they don't like each other. The power jack when it was connected up with the sun it did uh, it it took over control but still gave some of it to the uh, the sun. But when you got two sun grid tie inverters connected, they don't like to share. They got one guy in charge. The other one does gets nothing. Looks like. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so now I just have one power jack. He's on the right here. And the other one's totally disconnected. All right, <clears throat> now here's a second power jack. All on his own on the uh, left. These are identical units. Now I'm going to connect them in parallel here. Just connected the wiring in parallel. Two regular power jack units. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? One, uh, one takes over. I kind of didn't expect that. They both started off sharing, but one ended up dominating at this uh, power level. So I'll leave this connected as the sun gets stronger. 
we'll see if uh, this changes at all today. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I thought the two power jacks might have had a chance of sharing, but not so. I'm going to disconnect the power lead. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll just do it here. The other one completely takes over. These are identical units and I'll plug that one back in. Right now they're sharing okay but it looks like the one on the right is going to dominate here. These stupid kilowatts don't have a real good uh, screen, so it's hard to get get the angle just right with the reflections. <clears throat> yep, looks like the one on the right is is going to take over, and the other one will die out. Look at that. Knock them right to the mat. Sorry, bastard. That's pretty cool. These guys do not like to share. Alright, I'll check back later. Alright, it's been uh, <clears throat> a little while longer. The sun's getting a little stronger. I still got the two power jacks connected. You can still see the one on the right is still dominating but the other one is is trying to participate here so that's pretty cool together <clears throat> looks like we got uh, 86 watts versus 99 going uh, coming in okay I got a request to take a look at if the power was completely shut off from the panels to the grid ties and uh, how long would it take the grid ties to come back up again? So, I'm going to disconnect the, the solar panels. <coughs> so you see the watts went to zero. Grid ties went to zero. And we'll come back in a, about a minute here and try it again. Okay, it's been about a minute. I'll connect... The solar panel up just to one grid tie inverter. The other one's totally disconnected. <clears throat> Looks like the one uh, power jack came right up. Just in a matter of probably 15 seconds. I'll connect the other one up in parallel. Yeah, it looks like the one on the right's gonna <clears throat> take co take control again. All right, <clears throat> getting up to that 120 range again. Got the two power jacks. Still got the one on the right is still uh, carrying the heavy end of the log there, but the other guy's not out of the game. So that's they've decided that's the balance they're going to have. Looks like I got about 100 watts coming out of the 
All right, I'll let it run like this for a while. All right, since I got the power up here at around 120, I thought I'd switch over to both Sun uh, 250Gs or two Sun units. I got one on the right doing all the work right now. Watch what happens when I plug the other one in. <clears throat> the guy on the left is uh, is the lower voltage one, the one that's supposed to start off at ten and a half volts. He's, he totally takes it away from the other guy. So having the second sun on there it makes absolutely no difference. So these two suns together don't uh, they don't like it up at this high end either. So I think I saw that on the power jack, two power jacks in parallel. One will tend to take over and knock the other one down on to the mat. Same thing it looks like it happens here with the uh, with the suns. Pretty interesting, eh? Alright, I just switched it over, so I got one power jack and one sun. And the one on the right is the sun. The one on the left is the uh, power jack. Let me un unplug the sun. Obviously our s sun coming in has died a little bit here. Here it comes back. This is the configuration I had the other day, one each. One power jack and one uh, sun. They seem to be, uh, at least at the moment, more compatible than either two suns or two power jacks. Well, who would have guessed that? So since I'm getting good power here, I'm going to just leave it on this way the rest of the day. Got a little update here. This is a couple hours later. This imbalance here between the two uh, sun grid tie inverters. But they're working together to some degree. Got 120 on the panels. We've got a little over 100 on the grid ties. Not too bad. All right, obviously I did a lot of dim inverter swapping around today. Uh, wasn't the greatest day skywise, but we did get uh, some good sun up near the peak of the day there. You can see uh, here's the total profile of the power. These glitches here is when I was swapping things out, moving uh, inverters around and doing other things. So kind of ignore those. <clears throat> but anyway, got up to our 120 kind of target range here and um, matching somewhat of what I was doing in the videos. As I said, I started up in the morning with uh, two uh, sun grid ties together. And uh, it was pretty clear that one of them dominated. It didn't matter which one. It was just uh, I could swap it from one to the other. Sorry, I meant to say uh, 
I could I was swapping around, but it always turned out the uh, 1050G, 250G, which was the lower voltage one, for some reason tended to dominate. <clears throat> Switched over in this range here to the two power jacks, and uh, and then uh, went into a mode here at this time where I put one of each on there, and you can see <clears throat> together they were uh, generating a little bit higher power, at least as far as this graph goes, uh, once that was done. So that was something that was kind of interesting to test. So if I take a little closer look, <clears throat> just at the voltage in the in the amps, uh, we had in the morning here two Sun 250s, one of them which tended to take control, and then uh, switched over to those two power jacks. You could tell the power jacks would operate with a little vo lower voltage, which was what we saw in our prior videos. And uh, the one thing that with these two Suns in my prior video, when I, when I had just one Sun running, it was toggling between uh, 12 volts and 17 volts, but it wasn't doing that when you had two of them in parallel, even though one was dominating and, and the, uh, basically the other one wasn't, wasn't putting any power out at all. Uh, when the two power jacks were connected, it, it behaved pretty similar to the way it did when it was just one connected, meaning between 15 and 16 volts, stayed pretty steady through there. And you could tell we got the best current of the day with the two power jacks connected. And then I switched over to uh, one of each, the sun and the power, one of the power jacks. You could tell the voltage was being a lot more uh, affected by that. And definitely the current suffered with that combination. But if we go back to the power curve, we actually got our best power of the day came out probably on average another, you know, four or five watts better with those together than when, when uh, they were paired separately. <clears throat> So then I wanted to take a closer look at what it looked like when I just transitioned from two, the two power jacks to the uh, combination of the two. And you can tell the fact that the watts was pretty steady and the current, <coughs> zoom even closer, was just looking at the voltage. When I switched over to having from two power jacks to one sun and one power jack, but the sun being the one that was uh, in control, that the, the voltage did kick up a little bit relative to where it was. Current dropped a little bit compared to where it was. And uh, what's interesting is the, uh, even though this is looks like uh, the kind of control that the power jack alone had, meaning a one volt range that got a little bit wider when there was a sun involved, that it was really, <clears throat> according to the video, the sun was actually the one that was putting the most power to the grid, even though the power jack was probably the one that was keeping the voltage pretty constant up in here compared to if, it, if the sun was doing it totally on his own with nothing else connected. So it's kind of interesting that the power jack would have that kind of influence on the input power, but the sun was the grid tie inverter that really was able to take advantage of that steady voltage, giving a, a better output out of that grid tie inverter by like two to one or better compared to what the power jack that was connected at the time was doing. So. Interesting stuff.